just watching and thinking like, oh, so that's what hepatitis looks like. Yeah. Uh, I remember my brother and I, I forget where we were, but we were staying in a hotel room. And, you know, late night television came on and there it was like some documentary about giving head. And there it was just like late night TV, not pay-per-view, not anything. Yeah. Um, just like some like weird ass PBS documentary. And about so, getting head. About giving head. And so there was, was Andy a, Dick the instructor. No, I don't think so. But there was like a long section where like women would place like condoms in their mouths and practice by like putting it on like cucumbers. Yeah. And like carrots and things. Mm. And so young adolescent Bill is naturally aroused by this. So I moved from like laying on the top of my bed to like going under my covers. Remember, there's like, oh, something going on over there. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. But yeah, there was something going on. It was sexy yeah. as hell. I remember one thing that was really funny. Um, my brother and I, we had to go to uh, Cleveland for the epileptic overnight sleep study. And I think we were like, there the first night. Oh, I, I, yeah, this, this whole story is great because we were supposed to be. Are we recording audio? We yeah, yeah, we're already recording. Nice. I, I got, I didn't start into the Tommy Lee Dick part. Mm. It was right when, uh, your hotel story. But so, so we go to this hotel in Cleveland. It was just me and my brother. This was like three years ago. And I think we came real late and we, 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 sh- we like got off our flight at like 11 at night. And we're supposed to be sleep deprived for the next day because of the sleep um, study. Mm. So I'm like, well, fuck, we're in Cleveland. I'm I'm honestly not tired at all because we're we were on a flight sitting on our asses. Why not go check out Cleveland? And my brother's like, no, man, we don't know where the fuck we are. We might be in a bad neighborhood. I'm like, well, fuck, let's catch up with Bone Thugs. You know exactly right. So Cleveland rocks. Yeah. Cleveland rocks. <laughs> so, so I uh, I went to a local, um, I went I went to a local uh, bar, walked in, on the middle of an open mic, so I'm like, great, I suck at stand up. This is the best place to suck at it because I don't know anybody here, and uh, I think this is where I realized I'm not homophobic, and I may be bi curious. <laughs> Because cause the bartender was uh, uh, super cute, su- super cute, super gay, and I I asked him I go hey man can I get in on this open mic and I was like leaning I was trying to be quiet because they're doing their improv thing you don't want to like talk over them so how do I get in on this he's like well it depends uh, am I buying you drinks or are you buying me drinks I'm like well we can do a little more than that if you get me in on this he's like oh they already started but that's okay we we don't have to watch this let's go and back i'm like i just want to get on the open mic and i'm not gay <laughs> fuck off <You> know? <laughs> and i i think i think i don't remember if i start if he started kissing me and i went along with it but i mean yeah so i so i go back to the hotel but he was on the clock just looking for smooches yeah looking for sm- and and i Cleveland. i wasn't getting paid so fuck you no smooches man no, but I, so then I went back to the hotel and I don't know if this is what normal, a normal thing. I always love like teasing and bothering people <laughs> to sleep. I just, I I think growing up with John, I, I think we just used to always crack jokes and just bother the fuck out of each other before we went to sleep. Or maybe that was just me. I think it was just you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and especially with my brother, like I love bothering the fuck out of him before we fought so we're at this hotel <clears throat> and we had one of those rooms where y- you know the they have that middle door to the next room mm-hmm. where the other person has to open and i don't know this is just a me and brother thing we i used to make fun of him because i could actually do like a good arnold impression like I, I got this kombucha here this is full of vitamins wow it's so good I, I i tell you you have to hate trump you have to vote for me it's so good ah. and and i it, even if that's bad i did it better than him sure so he would just i remember his first impression it was just it was just like wow 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 he, and he didn't know how to say anything. Disrespectful. He, he didn't know how to say anything. He would just grunt. That so, man is a former governor, and you should tell your brother to show some respect. Okay. 
Well, all night we were making these noises, <laughs> full volume. <laughs> we're just, we're just, we can't fall asleep, and all you hear is, <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> all right, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, doing, <laughs> we're doing it for like an hour to try and like just have you know hurt where you're laughing so hard your <laughs> tonsils hurt, yeah. and then. That, 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 knocking that, on the door. That's when we fell asleep because we did it so long. We heard that we we did it louder because we heard the shower next door. So we're like, oh, people won't complain about noise. So we do it the loudest we can, and then all you hear is Wah! like a baby starts crying. <laughs> 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 that, that had to be so tormenting. Uh, Arnold's having a fucking heart attack next door. <laughs> <laughs> so. This episode of Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing is brought to you by the Cleveland Chamber of Commerce. Yes. And come to which, Cleveland. Which Arnold is uh, trying to get voted in now since he's not a, he can't be president, so. No, but he'll stay hungry. <laughs> that's that's a joke no one will get. But <laughs> I, I get him. <laughs> that you when, get it. When, but he, when him and Jeff Bridges are naked smoking weed and lifting. <laughs> <laughs> He's working out in a Batman costume. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to all of our viewers out there, Stay Hungry is a movie which features Arnold Schwarzenegger. What was his Like Joe Montana was his name. And he was supposed to be like the typical American boy yeah, with, with like a super thick German accent. I and just have speech impediment. <laughs> <laughs> this is a condition. And it was about like a weightlifting competition, and he could only work out in a Batman con uh, costume, and he played the fiddle. So <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the movie. That uh, sounds like his real life. I, I thought that, it was right. a documentary. <laughs> what year is that from? Oh, my God. Like 1960, maybe? 69? Uh, 70? Well, no, way later than that. Hang on. Let's, I've got my Google Home pocket what year was stay hungry released stay hungry was released on may 10th 1984 oh 1984 way off but but what, i'm off because the whole movie's black and white no it's not it is yeah is it really yeah are you sure i'm positive dude what, that's the best part about when you get torrents especially now because you don't want to get caught with too much shit you just get collections, like you get the Al Pacino collection, sure. you get every movie. So I got the Arnold collection, and here's another funny thing. You get the whole Arnold collection, so you get a shitload of crap he was in that nobody heard about, probably not even him because it's so bad. One of the things on there... Hercules it, in New York? Yeah. A, a, everything that he's in is on there, the entire collection. And the thing that made me laugh the most, when I was young, we went to Universal Studios... And they had the Terminator Two 3D ride. Yeah, they have that little fifteen clip that you see when right before you're in the ride and you're strapped to the chair, <laughs> and it's and it's really awkward and funny because you know the the Edward Furlong John Connor, sure the in in the movie yeah. the kid in the in when they taped Terminator Two, I think he was like fourteen or something. And he went through that fucking growth spurt. Sure, so, puberty. So, so, like, when they made the Terminator 2 3D The Ride, he's, like, 18 <laughs> but, and <laughs> sitting on a fucking motorcycle with this guy. So it's like Terminator, you know, broke back mountain at this point. You know. Nice. This is why I cannot ever be human because it, it's not getting up, you know. But, yeah. <laughs>